clock is ticking. Imagine yourself completely isolated in a cabin in the woods. No one to keep you company except for your pet dogs. It's quiet, calm, and completely grueling. You barely have enough food to feed yourself, let alone your three furry companions. You go to bed every night hungry, not knowing when your next meal may come. Now, imagine coming across a strange creature on a hunting trip. It's covered in dark fur with a long, thick tail. The creature is large, large enough to feed you and your dogs for the entire winter. You don't know what it is, but at this point you don't care. You aim your rifle and fire. The creature howls in pain, scurrying off into the woods, its tail wriggling on the ground. You wince at the missed opportunity, but decide the tail is better than nothing and cook it for dinner. For the first time since winter fell, you sleep with a full belly. You awaken in the dead of night to a strange noise. And as your eyes adjust to the dark, your heart drops. A familiar shape sits at the foot of your bed. A large creature, covered in dark fur, and a stump where the tail should be. Taily po, taily po. Give me back my taily po. The taily po, sometimes known as taily bones, is a creature of Appalachian folklore and the titular character of the legends surrounding it. The creature is typically described as cat-like, standing on four muscular legs and having ears similar to that of a bobcat. It is said to have an unusually long tail, sharp claws, and covered in black or dark brown fur that allows it to blend in with the darkness. It has also been said to have either red or yellow eyes that reportedly glow in the dark. In most versions of the legend, it has the ability to speak, either speaking in an off-putting, otherworldly voice, or a feral, guttural rasp. It demands the main character, usually a lone hunter, to return its quote-unquote taily pup which the character has typically eaten or traded for food. Like all legends, there are numerous variations, but the most well-known version goes as such. A hunter lives in a cabin high in the mountains with his dogs, Aino, Yuno, and come to go Calico. For most of the year, it is calm and quiet. The man and the dogs hunt during the day and cook and eat their prizes by nightfall. During the winter months, however, the air becomes bitter and food scarce. The man goes hungry most nights, opting to feed his animals rather than himself. One day, during a particularly uneventful hunt, the man's dogs bolt ahead of him. He rushes after them to find them barking and snarling at a creature he had never seen before. At first, he had thought it a large cat, until he saw the gnashing teeth and blood-red eyes. He stood in awe for a moment, but was snapped out of his gaze by the growl of his stomach. Whatever the creature was, it would be sure to feed him and his dogs for at least a few weeks. He quickly fires at the creature with his rifle, sending it howling into the woods. He grimaces and curses to himself, believing he had missed. That is, until he notices his dogs sniffing at something wriggling in a puddle of blood. It was the creature's tail. Unusually long and about as thick as his wrist, it would have to do. That night, the man cooked the tail and shared it with his dogs, feeling full for the first time since the snow began to fall. He and his furry companions went to sleep feeling satisfied. In the dead of night, the man awoke to an eerie voice emanating from deep within the woods near his cabin. It was an echoey, otherworldly whisper that seemed to be calling out on the wind. Taily po, taily po, I want my taily po. The man, severely disturbed by the chilling message, sent his dogs out in the woods to find the source of the noise. After a terrifying half hour of silence, Yuno and Calico returned, with their brother Aino nowhere to be seen. 
Fearing the worst, the man kicks himself for thinking himself relieved, believing the creature had taken the dog as tribute. However, the whisper returned shortly, this time growing into more of a soft call. Tay po Tay po where is my Tay po Panicking, the man sent his dogs out again, only for the same cruel fate to repeat itself. Only Calico returned to him. Now, the call grew into an annoyed growl. Tay po Tay po Give me back my Tay po When the final dog did not return, the man cowered under his blankets, praying that the creature was satisfied. After what felt like hours of dead silence, the man poked his head up and gazed around the room. To his surprise, he saw... nothing. Then suddenly the beast pounced on his chest from beneath the bed and pinned him to the mattress, its sharp claws digging into his flesh. The man cried out, and in that moment he realized what he was looking at. A large cat, with gnashing teeth and blood-red eyes. It was the creature from the woods, the one whom he had shot at mere hours before. It growled and brushed its maw against his ear. Tay po Tay po I want my Tay po it said, its voice a guttural snarl. I don't got it. I don't got your taily po. The hunter lied, desperate to save his life. The beast simply muttered the same phrase, this time digging its claws deeper into the man's chest. The man screamed in a mix of pain and terror and finally croaked out, I ate it. I ate your taily po. It's gone. The creature sat in silence for a moment before tearing into the man's chest, tearing flesh and breaking bone. The man's screams echoed into the mountains and were quickly silenced. The cabin was found the following spring. Neither the man nor his dogs were ever found. The same goes for the creature. However, on a dark winter's night, they say you can hear an echoey, otherworldly whisper that seems to be calling out in the wind. Tay po, Tay po, now I've got my Tay po. <laughs>